Hey, yo, he can't fight news. Eddie Hearn claims that the U.S. fighters are going to be waiting in line to sign over to the zone. But hey, he's getting a rude awakening because ain't nobody signing on the zone, man. He can't fight news. Let's take a look as to the real reason why the great American fighters, I'm talking about the Charlos, the Earl Spences, the, um, you know, the Crawfords, they all don't want no smoke with Eddie Hearn, man. I'll tell you why right now. That's right, man. Eddie Hearn, he, he, he seems to think that, you know, all of these American fighters, they're dying to have a three-fight, four-fight schedule. And it's funny because, um, well, who, who does he have under his banner? Anthony Joshua, that's the biggest name. Does he have a three- or four-fight schedule? Huh? Oh, how about Dillian White? Is he fighting three or four fight, three or four fights a year? Is he fighting three or four fights? Is Jarrell Miller fighting three or four? Maybe he's fighting three bums a year. Maybe that's right. I, w I wouldn't say they're legitimate great fights for Jarrell Miller that he's fighting. I don't think Thomas Adamek is this great, amazing uh, opponent for Jarrell Miller. In fact, that's probably the worst Example of a guy that's on the zone. Apparently, he'll be on there for at least two fights. And what what big fights is, is in Jarrell Miller's future? Is he gonna get the Dillian White fight? It seems like he's focused on a, on a fake ass WBA title, looking for Manuel Char. And that's just one example. I mean, but in terms of what Eddie Hearn is is dealing with here. He's dealing with a backlash of basically fucking around with Deontay Wilder's career. Having, having gone through, in my opinion, staged negotiations, fake-ass negotiations when they never really wanted to make a, an Anthony Joshua fight, Eddie Hearn now has a handful of fighters that are, are B-level at best. I mean, the biggest American name he's got on there is Jesse Vargas. Je the guy who just had a draw with Adrian Bronner. That's the biggest name he's got with his billion-dollar backing, you know, that Perform Group has, you know, has, has shilled out all this cash to try and, you know, sign up all these great fighters He's claimed he's, he has more money than Showtime and HBO, but he can't get any big-name fighters. I mean, proof's in the pudding. Eddie Hearn got rejected by Adrian Bronner. Eddie Hearn is getting rejected right now by Javante Tank Davis. Eddie Hearn got rejected by Mikey Garcia. Now, Eddie Hearn is sitting here bragging that all oh, these fighters are going to come around. They're going to come around. Showtime doesn't have the money. <laughs> that's why he's. That's why he's just. He's just making a narrative for himself to continue his mediocrity. Yeah, he's no choice but to f put all his fighters on one card because all his fighters don't have a name. He's. He's got to build up Arter Better Be. He's got to build up Jesse Vargas versus Delorme, which is really an undercard fight. He's got to build up Big Baby Miller. Who's really pimping Eddie Hearn out? Because I mean, he's getting easy fight after easy fight after easy fight, and who knows how much money he's making off of that shit, man? Who knows how much Eddie Hearn's paying these guys? But, but there's no rush for a Charlo to really, you know, break out of out of their comfort zone and sign with Eddie Hearn. I don't see anybody rushing to sign over to the zone, man. And what did, I tell, what did I tell you guys three or four months ago what would happen with Eddie Hearn? He's going to end up signing a bunch of foreign names. I, I, I mentioned Bivols, but instead he signed Better BF. Yeah? I told you, he's gonna, he should really be going after these guys in the World Boxing Super Series. Go after Zelani Tate. Go after Inoue. Because they're going to be breakout names. Whoever comes out of this uh, Super Series 
in the finals or the semifinals, they're going to be breakout names. They're going to be bigger stars. And those are the guys you should be looking at if you can't get the American talent. But don't sit here, act all thirsty, begging for the Americans to sign with Eddie Hearn. It's not going to happen. You want to know why it's not going to happen? It's not going to happen because you fucked over Deontay Wilder, the American heavyweight champion. You fucked him over heavy. You, 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 you flaunted. 12 million. Damn near. Hold on a second right now. Hold on a fucking second. Man. Let me get this fucking bullshit off, man. All right, here we go. He flaunted his $12 million. He said, hey, Deontay, you want to fight in the UK? I got 12. I got 12 for you. No contract. <laughs> I got 12 million. Deontay said, who the fuck? Fuck that bullshit. And then he made a 15. And I, I don't know. Apparently there was a rematch clause. Apparently Eddie Hearn... Was, was at some point was trying to make this fight in 2018 Deontay Wilder said hey let's get it let's go I'll take it let's make this fight happen I'll go over the UK and what did this guy do this guy had the WBA come in randomly completely random and give a 24 hour notice that he had to fight Joshua had to fight uh, Anthony Joshua. What is Shelly Finkel say? Shelly Finkel say, hey, all you gotta do is sign, uh, uh, fill out an ap application for him, man. Get, get your exemption. There's no problem. Eddie Hurts, oh, we don't have a signed contract. You, you, see, you see where the fuckery comes in? So the man clearly didn't want to, he didn't, he didn't want to make no Deontay Wilder fight for Anthony Joshua. That was never on his list of priorities. God damn, he made Joshua versus Dillian White happen in less than a week because it was a priority for him to keep Dillian White active, to keep him away from Luis Ortiz. Yeah? But hey, that's, that's, that's the Eddie Hearn show for you, man. That's the Eddie Hearn show. I mean, what can you, what can you really say about it, man? Dude, dude's a hoe, man. The dude really don't want no smoke. So let's let's see what he had to say here. We, we, we have the biggest fighter in the world on the zone in Anthony Joshua. So we haven't done bad to start. That's what he's saying, man. He thinks he thinks he's off to a good start with with AJ. Who's fighting Pavekin on the zone. That's gonna be the debut, I guess. That's going to be some kind of debut for Eddie Hearn. It's supposed to be a big moment for him. So we're going to we're going to see. We're going to see how many people tune in. He says he's got multiple world champions. He's got Maurice Hooker out of Texas. Maurice Hooker who beat Terry Flanagan and in a solid performance. He's got Arter Better BF. For some reason they had Maurice Hooker twice here. I don't know why. Danny Roman, Katie Taylor, who's been with him from Jump, and Tevin Farmer. Okay, he's got Tevin. Maybe Tevin Farmer is one of the bigger names. I don't know. Tevin Farmer. D didn't he lose to that guy Ogawa? I swear Tevin Farmer lost to that guy Kenichi Ogawa, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways. Anyways. Man, real shit. The guys who are going to end up signing with Eddie Hearn are the guys who really don't have a name. Tevin Farmer hasn't really beaten anybody. In fact, his, his biggest win is, is Billy Dibbs. Right? He hasn't really beaten anybody yet. Yeah, he looked good in Australia. I mean, who else is out there for Eddie Hearn to sign? Who else is out there that isn't locked up? Is he looking for a Sean Porter? Is he looking for a Danny Garcia? You know? Because I figure the loser might end up going to Eddie Hearn considering the fact that it's either going to be head over to Eddie Hearn or, or you might get fed to Earl Spence. And you know, both those guys, man, I, I really don't know how strong their interest is in a fight with Earl Spence Jr. So, I mean, there, there's a... There, oh, snap. Fucking traffic out there, man. Anyways... I'm just saying, Eddie Hearn, what has he really done for DAZN? 
What has he really done so far? He's got one card together. He's put together one card. And he damn near had to use all his fighters that he had just for the zone. Put them all on one card. What's going to happen in November, December? I mean, it's just a question. But yeah, Eddie, are you plan on taking over boxing? Okay. Okay, Eddie. Okay, Eddie. Man, it is what it is, man. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As you can see, Eddie Hearn, really, he's running out of options. He's running out of fighters. And he might be running out of money. But, we, we, but we're going to see. That, that Joshua, Joshua fight is going to bring in a little something for him for Matchroom. And that's really the main guy. You wonder why he's ducking. You wonder why he's afraid to put Joshua in there with, with Deontay Wilder. It's because... If Joshua goes down, all of Matchroom goes down. And that's just the truth, man. E-King Fight News. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And we're out, man. Peace. Peace out. Check out my timeline, man. I got a lot of great content out there. And, and you know, hit that bell icon. Support us on Patreon, man.